Welcome, take two. I was just recording for the first time. I've been unintentionally took a break from um, technology, including my channel, and I was just recording probably three, four minutes in, and my video completely closed off. So, thanks for sticking with me. Um, like I said, a very unplanned, unintentional break, emotional, spiritual healing a time for inner for me and so I have been a few weeks without doing a new video and I'm coming to you today as it is July 12th with a little bit of an energy update we're going to tap into this week's energy and the reflection of how you're doing emotionally because we are in the energy still of this new moon and cancer that we just um, had take place on the 9th 10th depending on where you are and so I've been reflecting upon just that, you know, the, the cancer archetype, the moon being in the home sign there of cancer, of emotional healing from all the traumas that many of us as lightworkers and old souls are now coming, becoming super aware of being hijacked from our true purpose of being here on the planet, right? And many of us becoming super aware it's pretty intense with what is taking place in the human race right now. So make sure with that, the energy of nurturing and nurturing yourself, connecting with nature, right? That's also symbolic of the mother and feeling connected to that more than what we're witnessing in this um, breakdown of the control factors and the hierarchy that's been happening on the planet with humanity for for a very long time what's happening is that dismantling of the hierarchy and the control factors and the brainwashing and the abuse that's taken place with all of humanity every color every gender every culture um of this really the minority controlling and dictating a lot of what has taken place on the on the earth plane and so as more and more lights coming in as more and more light is being integrated into many of us many of us light workers star seeds old souls have been asleep even or not maybe not all the way asleep but kind of feeling that trauma of disassociation that many of us have felt because we could always even if not tangibly see the corruption and the manipulation the abuse of mind control of manipulation of emotions most of us as being like empaths or old souls felt it right that undercurrent of just something not feeling quite right here with humanity on this beautiful planet called earth and so now we're just really transitioning into this time when we're becoming super aware of it and you know, symbolically the light shining upon it to where it's more and more visible to those of us who have the eyes to see what's been going on with humanity and kind of the hijacking of all of us intended to be here as equals, as individuals in our unique expressions, but also um, collectively as the human race, one race, right? Um, on this earth plane in this school called life and so what's happening is more and more light being integrated more and more of us coming online and our DNA shifting and changing we see this huge in your face push of more control more domination um, very outlandish things like coming door to door convincing you that you need what they have to have your freedoms to do what's best for the whole and so hopefully um, I know many people that tune into my channel are probably already very aware of this and so for us being super aware of what's happening it becomes frustration and it can become emotionally taxing and so I guess that's maybe what was my little step back or pause from coming on and creating on my channel 
here for the past few weeks or so was me needing to nurture myself, me needing to take care of myself emotionally, um, replenishing my cup. And so I want to encourage all of you to make sure you're listening to your body on what you need and continuing to spiritually strengthen yourself um, as we are more and more going into this huge push-pull of those that have been in control unknowingly or not by many of us feeling like they're losing their grip on humanity and becoming forceful with their ideologies and their push for um, basically we'll just leave it at this uh, claiming they have the answers for you you know like here do this if you want your freedom do this you know always those those dark energies of creating the problem and then also uh, trying to offer you a solution so it's important for you to trust your intuition tuition and trust your body and emotionally purging and cleansing yourself whether it be you know physically or emotionally and just really making sure that you're connecting to spirit every day because I think that I don't know you'd have to be completely asleep to not feel and see the intensity of what is taking place with humanity you know at this time and so get outside and connect with nature make sure you're nurturing your body and taking care of your emotional needs filling your own cup and knowing and standing in your sovereignty at this time because it seems to me with this door-to-door -door push that they're going to be doing next um, trying to get you to fear in any way possible so that they can continue to control and mind manipulate you and dominate over you right by offering something that they're saying is a fix or a cure but in all actuality it's more at the demise of humans um, than ever so pay attention to that because there's such a grab right now by those that have been controlling everything for so long and they do have an awareness that many people are waking up to it that's why they're becoming more and more forceful right and so it is so important as I always encourage on my channel to, you know, take care of you, trust your, your own inner sovereign compass, your higher soul, your over soul, and make sure that you are not being swayed by out, outside people, outside forces, outside ener energies or entities, because um, the convincing thing that's trying to take place right now is so... Like, if you're already awake to it, it's becoming so outlandish and so crazy. It's almost like you're watching a horror film. And so I feel that it'll continually increase as the, the ones, like I said, have been pulling the strings for so very long are losing that false power that they think they have over top of all of humanity. And so I think it's important to realize that we've all been abused. And that many of us are healing the trauma wounds and I think that's why the old souls and the light workers and those of us that are already you know at the forefront of the waves of this awakening are feeling very emotional about it because we're you know having all the kinds of things coming up like we've been robbed of our sovereignty not even knowing it we've been manipulated we've been mind controlled we've been abused on such a deep level that it can easily lead many of us into depression and so man I can't stress enough to make sure that you're listening to what you need do those things that are nurturing and loving with yourself like the mother um, that make you feel safe that make you feel full that make you feel whole and standing in that truth and standing in that light because we're still going to continue to witness, again, the bullies on the playground trying to dominate over top of us and manipulate us. So don't accept that. Don't accept what they're offering you. Again, they are the ones that create the issue. 
and then try to offer you the solution like there's some saint you are your own saint you are your own solution and so it's so important to realize that at this time because yeah it's on obviously so balancing act two of pentacles comes up first this is the earth energy this is you see this like we're walking this fine line right now let me try to turn down my screen or dim my screen here so that there we go the two of pentacles like again is that earth energy you see her walking on the tightrope trying to balance out maybe this is your awareness of what's taking place right now and you're needing to find that balance within yourself on how to integrate your awareness versus what we're witnessing in the collective with humanity right now so finding a good balance within yourself kind of keep walking that straight line that in your sovereignty and being able to be here and present in your body you know because a lot of us in the trauma wounds we're choosing that neptunian energy of escapism right and so making sure that we keep our awareness in our bodies when it becomes too intense and being able to try to integrate our knowledge and our wisdom with the current situations that we're in on the earth plane in this evolution of humanity right now um, you know you see the waterfalls behind her it feels like for many of us that holy shit the walls are closing in it seems very intense and in order for you to stand in your sovereignty to trust your own intuition to take care of your body to nurture your body you need to keep in the straight and narrow so may, maybe meditation and then how you take that forward in the in the energy of the balancing act with the two of pentacles is by walking your walk not just talking the talk making sure you're staying in your lane and not being concerned on what is happening around you to the point where it is at your demise so that's beautiful with the balancing act it is about that right it's about the integration of our spiritual knowledge and all of this energy and this light that we're coming online to in order to be able to integrate it into the earth plane into our lives in our everyday you know in our bodies and recovering those wounded parts like soul retrieval right uh, recovering those parts of ourselves that may have felt fragmented or checked out um, because of all the trauma and the very long played out hierarchy that's been happening with all of humanity for so long so keeping that good balance within yourself justice soul contract so many of us incarnated over and over in these same soul groups and many of us had to learn you know healthy boundaries many of us had to learn look at we got the 11 there the two pillars with the two of pentacles so integrating our knowledge as old souls being present in our body and allowing soul contracts that were karmic to end you know, this may be a matter of in your personal life with people that uh, my spiritual teacher always taught me that gifting relationships are of balance. Karmic ones, you play out, you know, you come in, you try to learn your lessons. And instead of marrying the person that we're in the soul contract with, that may be a karmic relationship, even from past lives, we're supposed to learn from it, evolve out of it and bring more balance and equality in our life. I also feel with this energy because of what I've discussed today on the collective this justice of knowing that you know what it looks very dark and even scary and outlandish at this time but keep your eye on the prize keep your eye on the light that in the spiritual realm the light is already one and that maybe we're p playing out and finishing up a contract of that it was like to me the earth plane of the classic narcissistic and um, empath roles right if you're aware of that the codependency 
of thinking that somebody outside of you, including the government, that has the answers for you. The system that has been set up, even in the United States, where it's supposed to be, you know, land of the free has been hijacked by these people, by these en energies and entities that want to control, dominate, separate, conquer. And we're never going to see the justice in that unless we do a balancing act. Stand in our truth. Don't be swayed by the things that they're throwing at you to make you fear, to make you feel like lack because everything you need within you. And keeping in mind, keeping your eye on the prize and the light, right, of in the higher essence of yourself there's already justice and that we're all here playing out this role at this time and it's definitely a revolution and a evolution of human consciousness human awareness like i said many of us are becoming so super aware of things that it's really things that have been going on for years but now we're aware of it right i'm getting hot here we're aware of it now and it seems like holy shit how did i not see this before right and so i can't stress enough to make sure that you are taking care of yourself and that you're not being swayed by those energies that are again creating the problems and then offering you a solution because you do not want to accept something that is not healthy for your body that's not healthy for your intellect, that is not healthy for your spiritual evolution because they're wanting to genetically modify you. It goes back to the whole mind control mechanism again, right? Keep your eye on that light and faith that there will be justice. We just may not see it in the physical with our two eyes tangibly for a while. And so don't be swayed, whether it be upcoming cyber attacks, whether it become upcoming food shortages, which that part of, for me has never made sense. You know, there's a world of abundance here. The mother provides everything that we need because to sustain all of us, you know, there's certain people out there, I'm sure you'll know by me saying this, that who think that the earth is overpopulated when it's not their decision and not their choice to be dictating and poisoning people to make people sick and to benefit you know big pharma and all of those who think that their bloodlines better than you or eyes or the person next to them i mean it's freaking really evil if you really want to think about it and so now the light shining upon it it appears to be so gnarly and so keep your strength keep your spiritual strength and we got to keep, again, integrating that balancing act of being present in our body and taking action in the physical when need be. Very intense times that we're in, and I guess that must have been why I needed the break that I took from here. So, fire element, desire. This is a way for you to benefit and to navigate through all of the deep emotional things you know we had an opposition with the new moon in cancer there on the 9th and 10th and it was in opposition to pluto in capricorn so deep emotional healing deep emotional thinking as well because i do believe mercury as of yesterday july 11th entered the emotional sign of cancer as well so a lot of deep emotions coming up a lot of us trying to heal the deep emotional wounds of our super awareness now that we've been hijacked we've been brainwashed the reality on the earth plane with humans has been nothing what we thought it was and so a lot of us are having this realization that we want justice that we are done and we're going to step into our sovereignty and claim it at this time because we will not be controlled dominated manipulated and even infringed upon by just a few on this planet. We're all created in his or his, his or his, his or her image in the likeliness of creator, in the likeliness of God, whatever you want to call it. And one way for us to navigate these deep emotions and calling back the parts of ourselves that we feel have been traumatized and wounded is to find a desire to 
bring forth this fire element within you of passion of desire and it's crazy this is coming up because we have the planet of venus and mars both in the sign of leo which is the fire element it's the fun it's the courageousness it's the sun right the sun rules leo it's our vitality it's our flame it's our sacred flame so maybe at this time some violet flame meditations may be beneficial for you to help burn off those uh, feelings of trauma feelings of wounds and to really bring forth that element of fire within you at this time and again Venus and Mars the masculine the feminine the balance of that feminine and masculine within you in the sign of Leo the heart Leo is also to symbolize fun and playfulness and childlikeness and so really allow yourself to have some moments of fun um, allow that violet flame to burn off the feelings of emotional wounds and the trauma and the PTSD that all of us have experienced in humanity and do something fun and so that is the energy coming up with that Let's do another one from my uh, Shaman's Dream Oracle. And then I'm going to read, because Jupiter is at about one degree of Pisces today, retrograde, it will not go back into uh, Aquarius until July 28th. I want to read the Sabian symbol for the Jupiter. Uh, let's see what it is exactly today where I'm at one degree 24 minutes of Pisces and the reason I'm bringing up and being called to share about Jupiter today is that it's about our higher learning it's about philosophy it's about expansion and because we have been in this deep dive of the cancer you know new moon emotional purging emotional healing nurturing I felt called and intuitively guided to read the Sabian symbol for Jupiter at this one degree 24 minutes of Pisces so I'm going to read that here after I pull one more card and we got the energy of sky writing the fates card 49 I think this is a huge thing right now because we are going through such intense transformation. It's important for us to do like the two of pentacles to balance and integrate, to remember our spiritual essence, to remember to not allow somebody to infringe upon you as a sovereign being, as a spiritual being, as to infringe upon your physical body where it can be altered, manipulated, controlled, and so in order for us to bring forth that desire and that fire element, maybe like I said, do some violet flame meditations to purge off those deep emotions. I know I went deep. I did not, uh, I wasn't doing too well, I wanna say over the last couple few weeks, but again, I rose, right? I connected. I started saying to myself and, and being the writer of my own script to say, you know, in the Eastern world, when you go dark, deep into the dark night of the soul, on the other side of it is your fate. It's an evolution. It like it, it levels you up and levels you up within yourself as the um, spiritual being that you are having this human experience. I want to read a little bit from this. I drank a whole glass of water by doing this. Card number 49. <clears throat> what a beautiful card. We are from the stars. We are way more than we've ever been told or shared with. And I think many of us are waking up to that to realize that we're galactic. We're stardust. We are part of creator itself. We are co-creators. It is written in the sky that you have a destiny. 
You are being invited to explore the certain aspects of a unique life to you and you alone. That does not mean that your path will be easy, paved with gold or littered with diamonds, nor does this predict that your journey will be treacherous. It is just your path with parts that cannot be changed and must radically be accepted as they are. In this way, whatever you are faced with, every single aspect of your life is perfect in its imperfection. Not good or bad, neither in floor nor blocked, neither in flow nor blocked, this nor that. See your life as a series of opportunities rather than an obstacle course. Once you master the skill of non-judgment, you open to the power of curiosity. The burdens of yesterday and the burdens of fear as you look ahead into the potential of the future. Yes, you still need to be brave. Right now, you are facing a critical moment in time with the opportunity to meet your fate and choice point where you expand your influence or your capacity for abundance, for love, and purposeful action. Now is the moment to leap into it. Whether it be a heart connection, a call to creativity, or a new identity in your work or another area of your life, with all of your heart and soul, your success is surely written in the stars. In order to bring your destiny to fruition, you must jump into the adventure with both feet and do your part. So important that you stand in your truth, to stand in your knowingness that you are here as a light worker, as a peacemaker, as one of those in this world that wants to bring light and that wants the best for all of humanity, not just for a few, and step into that role because blessed are you who steps into that role and says, I will not be swayed and I will not be manipulated. So important right now to not allow somebody outside of you to infringe upon you something into your sovereign body with the false guidance that it is for the benefit of you and the whole. Because right now there's a lot of shady players that are fearing all of us that are stepping into our sovereignty and drawing a line in the sand just like Yeshua did and saying, no more, not on my watch, and making sure that you're not swayed by that. Huge, you guys. It's huge. Like, can you feel it? Can you feel it? There's an intensity building. Um, so stand in truth, guys. Stand in truth in your unique expression and have this understanding, like the Skyrider card, that you are here for a destined fate and you were not to be infringed upon somebody outside of you trying to dominate control and mind fuck you any more than what the collective has been thus far right we are definitely in a great time of change so here is the two degree because we round up jupiter in pisces sabian symbol a squirrel hiding from the hunters the key word here is caution. The theme, danger signs. This symbol speaks to self-preservation and to the avoidance of unnecessary risk. They're wanting you to take an experimental mRNA for something that has a 90 some percent survival rate. That is an unnecessary risk. Keep that in mind. The image of the squirrel hiding from hunters is one of the negative of the negative or reverse symbols and it symbolizes danger and a need to exercise with caution. So trust your intuition, be guided by your own knowledge and awareness. The emphasis in this degree is on being conservative or playing it safe, thinking things through carefully before acting and having the courage to say no when the risks outweigh the benefits. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? The positive aspect of this is at its highest, the symbol represents the independent thinking. Please do not be allowed to be mind controlled anymore. 
think freely, think independently, do your own research, don't accept being hunted down by the hunter, okay? Not going to be easy, guys, but stand in your truth and do you. Whew. This symbol represents independent thinking, good judgment, and a keen sense of timing or a natural instinct for knowing when the how, when and how to take chances. The negative side of it is lack of self-confidence and low self-esteem or an inhibit, inhibit, inhibition of fearfulness. This is not the time they've been drilling the fear into humanity for years. It was amped up in the name of your health over a year ago. They're continuing to feed it down your throat, whether it be on your apps on your phone, whether it be on social media, whether it be on mainstream media, whether it be on the radio, 24-7. Deaths, deaths, numbers, cases, fuck them. Do you not see it? It's time to see it and to not act and make decisions out of fear as things intensify and become more and more draconian, tyrannical. The ascent is on one's self-preservation, so preserve your sovereignty. Don't be genetically modified any more than we already by, are by the things they spray in the air, the things they manipulate with our food, our water, our soil. Stand in your truth. Do your detoxes. Do your dandelion root uh, tea cleanses. Drink your water. Bless it, right? Discretion is advised. Open enemies are easier to deal with than hidden ones. And for so long it's been hidden. And now the enemies are open, right? We're supposed to be one human race on this planet. And where people have gone wrong is they thought that we could put us in fear, separate us by color, separate us by gender. Now they're separating us by you're accepting our push to be guinea pigs and pin cushions for us. No fucking way. So lack of self-confidence and knowing your sovereignty will be not at your highest benefit right now. So remember who you are. Connect with spirit. Do not go into the fear because it will cripple you. You'll be easily manipulated, controlled. The anxiety, the panic, the depression, the fear will become disease, dis-ease in your body, in your spirit, in your emotions. Fudge, I don't know that. The opportunity with this Two degrees of Pisces is your greatest advantage lies in paying attention to the signs that indicate all is not well with the picture we see going on, right? Let me read that again. Your greatest advantage lies, lies in paying attention to the signs that indicate all is not well. Take precautions to protect yourself. Use your discrimination. Risk against, guard against taking unnecessary risk. Do you need a jab of an experimental technology for something that has a 90 some percent survival rate? Keep a low profile and wait for more favorable conditions. This is not the time to draw attention to yourself. So I've been doing a lot of inner. That moon, you know, the new moon was more of the inner nurturing, deep emotional, purging, cleansing, perhaps a lot of tears for you. Trust that right there is where you need to be. That's where I needed to be. The stepping stones here are danger, fear, threat, forewarning, hazard, jeopardy, peril, risk, trouble, pursuit, self-preservation, -preserv discretion, Alertness, stay alert, carefulness, weariness, discretion, prudence, sensibility, and caution. Don't just act right now. Research for yourself. 
prepare yourself emotionally. This ain't to be shared out of fear. This is just, you can't make this up with what's happening on the planet right now. And when I read this and was intuitively guided to share where Jupiter is today, where is it about higher learning? It's about ex expansion. It's about philosophy. And whatever Jupiter comes in contact within you and your own personal natal, ch natal chart, it expands it. It magnifies it. It blows it up big, right? And so I'm really wanting to encourage you guys to have a good healthy balance of your emotions, your body, your physicalness, and your spiritual essence to keep shooting higher and standing in your sovereignty and not being swayed. Again, a squirrel hiding from the hunters. So store up your food, not in a hoarding way. Prepare yourself for what may come, not out of fear, out of caution, out of awareness, out of, that was the other word for it, caution, a squirrel hiding from the hunters. Allow this time to gain more and more of your spiritual strength, your courageousness, um, trusting your intuition, staying in your sovereignty and in your truth without being swayed by outside forces. And we got the sacral chakra, guilt. Leave behind the past of maybe, you know, I, I was duped. Maybe in your personal life you were in relationships that you didn't have that creative energy within you and you were in this soul contract in the past of maybe that was karmic. Don't hold on to the guilt of that, right? Release it. Do the, the sacred violet flame clearing and cleaning and cleansing of the purging of emotional trauma, wounds of the past. Don't allow it to carry forth and manifest in your body as guilt. Go about, you know, you see this little, she's wearing a yellow shirt, sitting there doing her ironing, but in the background, this is her reflecting possibly of the past, carrying forth with her guilt. Burn that off. Do some healing um, things with yourself. I know I started some Qigong. I have released personally the guilt, but on the collective, you know, we could be having guilt of going, how did we not all see where we've collectively allowed this totally out of whack, out of balance with all of humanity by these very few people that are just narcissistic bullies where they feed off the energy of others of making them feel lack or offering them substances that are not good for them. The last I knew, they you know, they always taught us to don't talk to strangers and don't um, allow yourself to be, you know, manipulated by the drug dealers when in fact the biggest drug dealers on the planet are Big Pharma. Big Tech is now in on all that as well with the censorship. So burn off that guild if you're carrying any. Stay in your truth. Bring forth the fire and the courageousness within you. Have a little bit of fun again with that Venus and Mars both in Leo. The sun, the vitality, your heart. Because truly at the end of the day, love is the most powerful thing there is. That's all I have for you. Remember that it is your fate. It is your destiny to be here at this time can't believe we chose it but we did so trust the higher plan that we are here at this time stand in your truth be your own compass your own guide tap into the spiritual essence of yourself stay present in your body through all these traumatic things that we're seeing play out and I send this to you guys with so much love thanks for being here with me give it a like give me a comment let me know how you've been doing share it out to the platforms that you are on I send this to you with love. Shalom.